Anui's network visibility systems were intelligently designed to simplify the complex. We offer customers an intuitive drag and drop interface that controls the entire unit's capabilities, including aggregating, filtering, and replicating network traffic to deliver 100% network visibility. Let's watch a quick five minute demo of the product at work. Here we have the 5236 Net Tool Optimizer using the Anui drag and drop interface. I'm going to show you how you can configure your spans or taps to connect to the device, how you configure your various tool sets, also our three levels of filtering. This is a sample diagram, it took about five minutes to configure. On the left side of the diagram, you'll see the inputs from the network, spans, mirror ports, off of switches, we have a few taps, various parts of our network that are also connected to the device. On the far right, you'll notice we have uh, IDS, different packet decoders, data recorders, application monitors, etc. In the middle, we have a dynamic filter. This is one of our three levels of filtering, which is industry exclusive to Anui. We also support filtering on input, known as ingress filtering. Also filtering on output, traditionally known as egress filtering. I'd like to start out and show you how simple it is to configure from scratch. We're going to take physically port 16 here on the device. This is connected to a span port off the Cisco switch. You'll see this port's configured for 1 or 10 gigs, has SFP flexibility. We're going to make it a 10 gig port, call it network port, enable it. We have support for custom GIFs and JPEGs, so we'll select the Cisco icon. And there, that quickly on the bottom left of the diagram, you'll notice that port is linked and ready to pass traffic. At the same time, port 9, which is uh, connected to an ad hoc packet capture device, that's one gig. Could be as simple as Wireshark running on a laptop. We'll set it a tool, we'll enable it. We'll select our custom icon. There's the Wireshark icon. Click OK. Now if I want to send packets off that 10 gig span to the Wireshark, simply drag and drop and then create our dynamic filter. The default is a deny all, which you'll notice this graphical icon on the upper right. Three arrows in, no arrows out, stopping all traffic. Just for this scenario, I have a 10 gig span, one gig tool, I don't want to do pass all traffic. It would cause problems right off the bat, but we could pass all, or we could pass by criteria. You'll notice layer two through four options here. You'll see I'm going to select IP addresses, uh, source or destination, a few predictor hosts. Could be a VIP, could be just different physical hosts in our network. We'll do host four through seven. You'll notice that I've selected source or destination at the top. That'll be all traffic to or from these hosts. Say OK. Now I might want to combine another Boolean variable like port number. Maybe I want to look for web traffic. So I could do something like so, common web ports. Again, I'm going to choose source or destination. I do that. This is where the Boolean logic comes into play. I'm going to keep it the default of AND, click OK. Now I can put the mouse over this dynamic filter and you can see the content, much like I can do it on any of the different ports. So I'm going to go to the Wireshark. You notice I can show statistics. So I'm showing it at all different levels here. I'm going to focus in on my port statistics. You notice with the particular filter I have in place where the I'm able to use a one gig tool to monitor a 10 gig network. We also have a real time graph here. This will give you a real time view of the traffic. If you want a historical type view, we also have a full custom MIB that can be loaded into your EMS. You'll notice I'll set this at a one second interval so I'll get an idea of does our filter make sense? Uh, am I seeing the packets on Wireshark that I need to see? Now you'll notice these different taps. If I want to troubleshoot off these same connections, I can do that no problem. 
Now I'm monitoring two 10 gig connections and a one gig connection, all with the Wireshark. Now at the same time, if I had another tool that wanted to see the same outputs, I just drag and drop. Simple as that. Here I have a group of three different one gig interfaces that are now monitoring this traffic. And with the Anui NetTool Optimizer drag and drop interface, this common configuration is very easy to implement. Thank you for your time. To learn more about Anui Network Visibility Systems, please visit our website at www.anuisystems.com and download your free trial today.